Oh, I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, we'll need the heart in a second. How is everybody this evening? I'm okay. You okay, Chris? Yeah, I'm good. We've been out in the car yet again today. So this is a spontaneous live. I am handy. Um but I the com the competition, no, the giveaway. Um it um Ava Sky. I can't click on this, I don't know. It ran oh, hi Polly. Hi Lynn. Hi Ava. Can you see the comments on that? Yeah, but it, can you do it on that? Yeah, yeah, I will do. I'm just... Hi, Claire. Hi, ladies. Oh, my dear. Right. Okay. So, um, how is everybody tonight? Hi, Diana. Yeah. Hi, Chris. Hi, <laughs> hi both of you. Oh, bless. Everybody saying hi to you. Hi, Diana. Diana and Lynn are saying hi. Is that all right? The saying hi. So, um... I, what I thought was, hi Claire, Chris and ladies, hi Sharon, um, so what I thought was, the giveaway ended yesterday, six yesterday or today, it's Friday, no, it ended today didn't it, and I did promise and I did say, once the giveaway ended I would come on and I would um, do a live with all the fantastic flowers, so these are the flowers that um, I got sent to me. I've got a fair bit of flowers, which is fantastic. So I need quite a few to do my project with. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing with it. Um, and what I'm going to be making with them in a second. I have been adding to the box as well. So now you can see the full box. <laughs> I know before um, I, did, I kept meaning to put a box up, um, a video up to show you what was inside the box. But, um, I don't know, just got sidetracked. But you'll be able to see it all tonight before I release the winner. So, these are the flowers. I'm just sharing with you at the minute while I wait for everybody to um, join us. I'm sharing with you the flowers that got sent to me. Um, like I say, a fair bit of flowers, but she's fantastic. I'm not complaining. Because I'll need a fair bit for the project I have in mind. So, as you can see, you've all been extremely busy sending me flowers. So, for, you, for those of you who have sent me flowers, thank you. For those of you who haven't, and I know I've had messages saying... Um, Oh, I really wanted to do it, I really wanted to do it. Don't panic, I will do um, another giveaway um, soon. But I did do um, a doily bag. So I'm just going to read some of the comments. It says, gorgeous flowers, lady sent you. I completely agree with you, Tiana. Lovely flowers. Um, hello, glad to see you. Oh, thank you, Sharon. How are you? Well, I'd like to say I've been busy in the car, but that aside been adding to this box oh. now it is really 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 full but which is good and remember those little projects that I was making along the way and I said whatever I made went inside the box um, right so there is a pigment black stamp um, not stamp ink Blech. Pigment black ink still in this packaging um, that I picked up. There is some of this Diamante um, decorative ribbon. It's two meters, so there's loads there to play with. You can use it as a whole piece. You can cut it up, but there's two meters of that. Okay, I'm gonna put the box to one side. It might not actually be in the shoe box because I can see. It. I'm having to find another box to send it off. Okay. Let's see. Then I have two of these that I've picked up. 
two of these that I picked up with the dingly danglies on. So some of them. Then um, these are, there's 10 sheets and it's alphabetical stickers. Now you can use them for notepads, you could use them for cards coming up to Christmas because they're gold. But there's 10 sheets. Um, I'm not going to take it out and show you because obviously it's brand new. Um, and like I say, I've been buying bits and pieces as I've been going on. Oh, this little, now I don't know whether I made this on the group. I'll have to double check but it's in that box so I'll have to double check I think I made this on YouTube on the group and if I have then that isn't going in the box I got confused or did I make it on YouTube I can't remember now this cushion with the Beatrix Potter um, picture on I must admit when I made this and come off film I went oh wow that's a really nice cushion <laughs> and it is it's nice and soft it's got a lovely key and those beautiful roses on the top um, then a little um needle book now i didn't put any needles inside you because i'm sending it off the needles are going to become um i don't know whether it's going to be somebody abroad winning it i don't know whether it's going to be somebody in the uk winning it i really don't know and that's why I haven't put any pins in it. Because if I start putting pins in it, um, it might not get through to customs. Because they might say, oh, that's really dangerous. Oh, that's really dangerous. So, <laughs> I'm going to put the pins in a... I'll show you the little box I'm going to put the pins in. Do you click, clap, click that? It's me clattering around. Right, so, the pins will come in this. And I've got some pins already to put them in. So, I'll show you the pins that are going in there. So, I'll put a good fair amount in. I always keep my pins in one box. So, let me show you. There's the button ones. There's the bow ones. So, I will put a fair amount of each in. Um, like I say, it will be in a protective box so that it will go through customs. So, customs won't be able to stop it love the fairy pin keeper so i'll put some i'll put a fair amount in as you can probably see but they'll go in this box that way it's enclosed and i know for definite if it goes overboard it'll definitely be it'll definitely go through customs that's, that's one thing i was sort of weary about so one of them this has also got lavender in I don't know whether you remember me putting lavender in. It seems ages since I made it. Um, and lavender went in there. I put some lavender in. Um, so, yeah. It's a little pin book for you. Okay. Now, Angie Brown said I made this on YouTube. Did I make this on YouTube? If I made... I think I did. Because I was showing you how those glimmer mists work. So... Um, my mind jogging my memory back and um, this will go in i will put something special inside this box and they i'm going to put um a spare one in i think i did make it remember i took it all apart and i made yeah i, I remember making that now thank you angie brown <laughs> right so got that the pigment ink i've got a plain one of these for you guys to have a go at if you want and like i say i'll put something special inside that box then we have an egg i'm going to read you down slightly an egg shaped it is in half i have painted it with white acrylic but the beauty of it being cut in half is that you can make your own stand you can use half, fill it up. I mean, Christmas is coming up. You can do anything with these. So you will do oyster with them. Then I've got one of these. It's like an organza flower. I've got a roll of this. Now, this has actually got um, its ribbon. And then it's got beading trim with stars and Christmas trees and all ready for Christmas. 
and like I say this is brand new um I undid it I think to show you guys what what actually it was but this is three meters approximately three meters in that then I've got some frames okay like I say there's tons in this box I'm gonna wait for the there's a necklace beaded necklace and again you can this is only elastic so you can cut the elastic and you've got a ton of beads um let me see what else a canvas again it's you can see that it's in the original packaging but i picked it up and thought you know you never know another frame um some of this gold um, it's gold and black trim it's beautiful and again with Christmas coming up you it's perfect colors right now I get down to the bottom of the box okay <laughs> now I go there so you have now you remember all those doily packs I had from eBay I think I just bought them off eBay. Well, I've shared some of them with you. Um, so there's one of them going in. There is one of these going in. There is one of them going in. There is one of these going in. There is like a rectangle shaped one. There is one of these going in. I've been adding to it. Um, now this one has got odd corners. So there's that decoration in one corner. There's that decoration in another. The same one in another. And then the fourth one is the same one again. But I think it's got odd corners so that when you put it over a table, it sort of sits beautifully. But again, you can use it in your crafting. There's nothing to say that not to. There's this Christmassy one. Um, this one's got like a, a candle. If I show it that way, you'll be able to see it a bit better. And it's got some candle and yeah, it's really pretty. It's got some snowflakes and a little Christmas tree and the same image the other side lot to play with this one is irish linen um now do not ask me to pronounce that because i think it's in spanish but i should imagine it said something along the lines of spanish dancing because of the picture <laughs> mocha maybe i don't know but this is actually irish linen there it is look see i'm gonna put that back in its case um, right now this little pin, this is a penny it's got two pockets and it's canvas type material you don't have to use it as a penny you can cut it up you could do all sorts with it you could even cut it up and you know how I've been making canvases you could have this as your backdrop instead of paper I was very tempted to bring it up the box and I thought no now don't let the color put you off yes it's blue and white but please don't let the color put you off because you can add color to it i mean if you were to add i don't know let's say like a real deep purple to it you'd land up um because it's blue you'd land up with two colors because of the white so don't let the color i know it's blue and white but don't let it put you off and i promise i haven't given you them all I have kept some back for myself. So there's three in there. Then there's that doily. Circular one. There is this little one. That little one. This one has got bells on. See? I see bells. I don't know what you guys see. But I definitely see bells. 
and then you get a little doily in there so if you're saying that it's bells like i am you get one two three four five six so you get a good range of them and then this now this is a skirt and it's white cotton it probably needs ironing because it's been folded um and it's pure white cotton it's white so you can color it yeah again you can because it's white you can color it so i love the bell when andrew brown says i can see bells too bells would make lovely ornaments arrangements hi andrew paisy beautiful crochet pieces yum yum right so there's that um right and the last two things another frame yellow one a bag full of hi sharon um there's a bag full of um letters let letters letters blocked letters all different colors all different shapes but they make perfect um miniature uh, toys if you're into miniatures all you'd need is a paper clip you wrap these you undo the paper clip you wrap these in a few now i don't know whether you all remember when i was little, we, we had one in the house no matter whether it was me or my brothers and basically it was on a wire and you had block letters and you were able to sort of move them and sometimes the wire would twist so you could have letters one way and shapes the other but you were able to move them you can do make the same thing in miniature using these so that's why I put them in. So you also get a heart shaped see through glass, not plastic, it's not glass, um, plastic dish. It has got pockets in. You don't have to use it as pockets. You could even put it on your table and put brushes in it. You could put pencils in it. It's, you know, the world's your oyster because there's all different pockets. So there's two little heart pockets here and there. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six little pockets there. These are orange lights. They do work. I have tested them. There's no batteries in them. I am not going to send batteries either because, again, it might not get through customs because it's in a ca battery case. And they might say, oh, it explodes it. You know what I mean. But So I'm not going to put batteries in them. But I promise you they do work. They're orange lights. So perfect for Halloween. Okay. So, and then I'm going to show you the doily book one more time. So let me put all this back in the box. Um, what do you all think to that? I think that you've got a real good selection. Um, I must knock the noise off my phone. Give me a minute and I'll knock the nose off my phone. Um, oh, and you get um, a, a, it's different colours of pink. So when you unravel it, okay, so there's light pink. And when you unravel it, you get to dark pink. So it's the same ball of wool, but just different colours. And I just think that would make perfect um, tassels. I've even made one out of this, actually. And add a real nice tassel. So I'm just going to put all this back in the box. Nice mix of goodies to create with. Thank you, Dawn. Yes, you're right, Angie. It's great to be catching up with you all. Right. Let me put these in. I will fill that up, so I'm going to put that to one side just for the minute. Otherwise, knowing me, I will forget. Right. right, doily block. Oh, and I've also put this in as well. This is that wedding applique that um, I bought. And, yeah, uh, yeah wedding applique it was like a wrapped up scarf thingy bob um thingy bob, bob. <laughs> and i cut a section off and i've put a section of that in so you get that as well as doilies because um i at the moment am tending to use a lot of my wedding appliques beaded ones 
and the ones that have got sequins on and doilies i'm tending to use a lot of them at the moment for some whatever reason i am so this is the doily book <laughs> right okay i will show you and then i will reveal the winner it's beautiful oh thank you dawn i have missed you all oh bless wonderful prizes thank you lynn never had one guess i'm old to remember that lovely to see you live again i've missed you all oh bless thank you angie Basie. so um i've if anybody hasn't seen how i've done this i actually made it step by step um on video i didn't do the song live because i thought well if you didn't if you knew how to sort of put the book together then you could easily go back to sort of step number five to see how I've created a pocket or something. So that's why I did it in video form. So, and this is pretty full. So I'm going to undo this. Uh, and I'm going to undo it. And that's the first page you come to is this one. And in this first page, I'll start off with the back make sure that you guys can see first it would help right you've got um the tag i made with the zip and you can take this little charm off now you can put it on your set of keys you can do almost anything with it because i put it on one of those safety pins and that was actually a pocket more than a tag i haven't put anything inside that as of yet but i was going to put old-fashioned buttons still looking for old-fashioned buttons but i have come across my button box so i might i'm going to put a few of them in so you've also got um old-fashioned tags and that one says breakfast cocoa and then that one says master soap so old-fashioned tags then this one was an actual tag um that i made using the dye that i trim dyed using the dye that i dyed for this actual page yellow and lilac done internet shut off on me i'm feeling quite sentimental about the book i know you are polly um i don't know whether i've told you all um but the first piece on the book and i think i did explain um the first piece this piece is a 1920s piece book and i spent i spent a lot of time um thinking about how i would do the book justice because to have that in your hand i know that it was stitched in the 1920s and it was just i needed i needed for myself for my own sanity to do the book justice um, so that bit, whoever wins it, will have a 1920s piece that Polly gave me in doily form and I cut up. And at the time I didn't realise it was the 1920s. And Polly didn't tell me and I think she didn't tell me because I wouldn't have never cut it up. But I'm glad I didn't now in a sense, otherwise we would never have had this book. Um, yeah, so that is the piece. That's why um, Polly says she's feeling sentimental. Dawn says, you spend so much time on this book collect. It's beautiful. Enjoyed watching you complete it. It's a special story to go with it. We'll be a lucky lady to win this. Yeah, whoever wins it, Dawn, will be very, very lucky indeed. And um, I completely agree with you. I did spend a lot of time, but thank you for your beautiful comments. They mean a lot to me. So in this little pocket, I put little buttons. Now, the buttons don't obviously do anything. They're there for decoration purposes. I put a little spool and then in this pocket you've got old fashioned um these are tags basically that i cut up from i had old fashioned paper and i just cut them up into the small tags so there's three there then i did a spool and then this bit in the center is actually cut from is actually cut on fabric so you can write um with it on um dressmaker's chalk you can use a dressmaker's chalk and actually write whatever you wanted to write front and back because it's on fabric paper fabric paper freeze it, i printed it off freezer paper but it's actually on fabric so there's more tags in the book so i'm going to put them back in 
and then that one goes just there and then on that spool as well it actually says our story um i just thought that was such a lovely piece to say it now this page this is all padded um because i used the sewing base as a theme i did this as a pin cushion so whoever win it if you're into sewing or like me you've got you know little pin cushion you can actually place them in the book because this is a pin cushion um and again i did it in the shape of um a dress form and did some more spools and dyed some more dies then over the page i again this is printed on fabric i made this page into a flower page taking the first um, piece from the first page um i want to to, I wanted to incorporate that in the book somewhere whether it be a flower page on the front or in the middle and I decided to go in the middle of the book with it so there's all different some of those flowers I've made by hand some of them died but yeah I've made a flower page for there um, then on this page again is a, a, another pocket and there's two I'm not going to open them up I'll just tell you what's inside them this one is actually because the story behind it was this woman that created that embroidered piece she worked her way up the ladder um, and she finally became the a fantastic seamstress she could sew her own clothes she could mend things in a heartbeat and she finally uh, you know when the years went by she got married so I wanted to incorporate that in the book somewhere so I've put in this in this um, clear bag um, some using graphic 45 paper I came across um, a pad I can't remember what the pad is what, what it's called but anyway in that pad there's wedding tags so I've put them um in there now they're not all got the women of uh, they haven't all got the image of the women on the front some of them actually got um a man some of the tags are the wedding journal that i printed off etsy and i've placed some of that in as well so that was to incorporate again some of the story in the book so that's what's in that pocket and as you can see um, it's all decorated on the back then this one is the pocket with all the doilies and trims that I dyed using the book there's bits of odd, no, odds and ends now I love using my odds and ends up um, if I'm looking for that perfect little something I'd rather see what's in my scrap box rather than cut up a new piece so what I've done um, these are all the pieces I some of them I've dyed obviously like the yellow and the pink and I've put them in a bag so whoever wins it again can either add to the book um, or they can use it for a different project because it's already dyed so that's what's inside the book now on the back it's tied with um, two well two th thin thickness of ribbon this is a wide ribbon that measures i think it measures one inch yep yeah. it's a one inch and this is just over half a centimeter wide and that's what the book's tied with is two is this um these type of ribbons right so we're gonna flick it right over now I have got it Polly sent me a little thimble and I've put it somewhere safe believe it or not it, I know it's around my table somewhere Paul I will put it in the book I'll find that and I'll put it in the book it's it's it, it hasn't gone missing I've put it somewhere safe because I didn't want it going missing but I can't think for the life of me where I've put it and instead of me trying to hunt for it while I'm on live with you all, 
I will, it's probably in a little dish, it's pro it is safe, it's around you, I know it's safe somewhere, um, it's on my desk, so I will put that in, it's a, a little silver thimble that Polly gave me to put inside the book, I was going to attach it um, onto the book, um, but then worked out how can I attach it, um, because it, of course it's a thimble, so I'm going to put it um, I might put it with the pins when I top this up with pins I'll put it in there so weather winds will get the thimble that Polly sent to me as well I just wanted to note that so on the back as you can see um, I dyed some more trims again using the flowers and the doilies and the wedding appliques and uh, you know it's all dyed beautifully and then these on the back when is because the lady who embroidered that piece she was sweeping up this lady was sweeping up pins I think Polly said for six months three months three months wasn't it Paul Polly look um correct me if I'm wrong it's either three or six months but I know it was a long time and to be sweeping up pins whether it be six or three months that's a long time they were six months. That's a really long time just to be sweeping up pins. She must have thought that she was never going to get there. So I put this little tag in and it reads, she believed she could do it, so she did it. And I thought that was, it just hit the nail on the head for me, especially doing this storybook. Um, it, 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 it just hit the nail on the head. So I've put that in. So that's a little tag and there's a little handle as well to pull out. Then this one, I actually made a poem up. So the poem reads, she chose the colours, the appropriate stitch. So I'm going to turn the book this way and let you look at that piece because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. She chose the colours, the appropriate stitch, the needle, the thread. Oh, Watch for those pins ahead. The colour picked at the pattern too. The reels now lay bare. After many hours sitting there, she drops the needle and prepares for the final stitch. She blinks her eyes and thinks, only for the rich. She takes a th second, a thought in time. It is now become years down that line. The piece still continues her story too. For us to admire just for me and you and I sat there and I did the poem and I just thought when I did it I just thought I read it back I wanted everything on this little tag to sum up what the book and this lady was all about so that was the final piece that I did and that is the doily book I will be see it, sad to see it go um, because it's been an honour and it's been a very, it's been such a pleasure doing it because it was, to think that was done in 1920s, do you know what I mean? It's just been an honour and Polly I just wanted to say thank you to you and your husband for sending me that piece so if it wasn't for you sending me that, I would have never created this book. So I'm going to leave you with that thought while I get the numbers now. Has everybody got their numbers? Because it's the numbers you will need to win this um, box. So here's my numbers. Here's my hat. Okay, are we all ready? Love that, love that, Claire. Sends a shiver down my spine, bless you. Oh, thank you, Polly. Lynn says, beautiful. Have we all got our numbers? I will read out who is, um, who wins once I reveal the winner. Okay. So, number 50 goes in the hat. Guess who is getting weepy? Oh, bless, love the hat. Oh, this is my raffle hat, Angie Brown. Absolutely beautiful, Deanna says. Number 28. Uh, 
Chris is going to come and uh, reveal the winner. 71. We all got our numbers. We all got our numbers. Number one, I did say they were going to be random, and random they were. They weren't going to be in any particular order. Number 85. Chris, you're going to come and reveal the winner? And number 32. So... Good luck, everybody. Chris, can you come and reveal the woman up, please? Good luck, everybody. I hope um, that the box gives you enough um, pleasure out of crafting as it did when I was putting it together. <clears throat> Chris. Hey, Chris is on his way. So, good luck, everybody. Um... Thank you all for sending me your flowers. Don't go after this because I'm going to show you what I'm actually going to do with the flower. The flowers. So reveal one I'm lucky number. Now, I must say before Chris reveals this winner um, that Polly said that if she wins, that she wants, um, she wants me to draw another number out of the hat to win the doily book. Because she said she wanted somebody else to get the pleasure out of the dollar book. I just think that was really lovely. Mm -hmm. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everyone. That one. Okay, that is the lucky winner. Are we all... Are we all ready? The lucky winner is number 32. Your number was 32. Can you reveal who was number 32? If you are now on, I've got the numbers by the side of me. And this person is on chat with us tonight. If your number was 32, please comment down below. <laughs> yes, Lynn, you have won the box. Um, congratulations. Um what can I say? Congratulations. Um, I'm glad. It was well, like a winning lottery ticket, wasn't it? The number theme. So I will be doing another giveaway. I don't know when. Um, but I will be doing another one. And um, thank you for everybody who sent in their flowers. Lynn sent me some flowers in and I did do a video. Um, so go please go and check Lynn's flowers out. She did send me her flowers in. Mm -hmm. And Lynn Shabby-licious, oh, well she won number 32. So, well done, Lynn. You've now won. I will get your goodies out in the post. I'll find you that thimble first, though. It is in um, one of my little pots on my table. It hasn't gone missing drastically. Um, but, yeah, you've won the doily book. You've won all the doilies. You've won all the goodies. And what can I say? You've won it all, so congratulations, Lynn. Um, and thank you for sending me your flowers. So, now, I all said to you, oh, I'm going to make something with my flowers, going to make something with my flowers. Hi, Donna. I'm going to make something with your flowers, going to make something with my flowers. Well, I am tonight. My glue gun's been on while I've been talking. And I've got all the flowers next door to me. And I have got this. Now, I originally thought, oh, I'm going to get Chris to make me something. Well, actually, this is a heart. A, a copper wired heart thing. And I bought this in Malvern Craft Fair. Um, beginning of the year. And I'm going to create a wall hanging with all your lovely flowers that got sent to me. I'm going to create that wall hanging tonight so that you can all see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to raise you up so you can all see what I'm doing. Um, I've got all the flowers next to me. Now what I'm going to do 
is um I want to I've got enough flowers to do this wall hanging and I can't wait because now it can go up in my room and I'm like Wee! so the middle of it I'm gonna fat out so let me grab some fat or some canvas would be better wouldn't it would that be enough no let me see Lynn is so pleased. Oh, bless you, Lynn. Um, it's been such a pleasure to do that giveaway. And like I say, it was a great honour. There we are. I've got some canvas material that I want to stick in the middle. Oops. Sorry, guys. Um, and it was such a pleasure doing it. Oh, you are. You're the symbol. I found it. Woohoo! <laughs> Told you it was in a safe place. So, where can I put the thimble? Let me think. Lynn, I'm going to put the thimble. Well, I'll put the thimble in this pocket here. Okay? This yellow one. I'm going to tie this back up so it doesn't come undone. But I will package all that and I'll send it off to you. Um, if I do it Monday, because then... I can get the box ready as well for you then. But I found the symbol. I knew it was in a safe place. <laughs> you very... Thank you, Polly. The book will be in a special place. It will, de... it will do indeed. Polly sent me the piece and... Uh... Okay, and I'm still in shock. It's all so beautiful. Oh, bless you. Well, everybody was sent me the flowers in it. And I, it won't be the last giveaway I'll ever do. I will do some more. But I don't know when the next one will be now. So I'm going to stick this canvas in the middle. Because I have got enough flowers to go all the way around. But I've also got enough to fill the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place some glue on the edge of the wire. And I'm going to glue it all the way around. But I'm so glad. Um, like I say, I'm a bit sorry to see it go. But um, I have got another, or I've got another piece that I can make for myself. And I probably will end up doing that. But you've got the special 1920s piece. So, like I say, this is just an ordinary copper wire um, hanging thing that I picked up. And at the time, I didn't really know why I was picking it up. They had different shapes there, but I couldn't tell you why I was picking it up. I just picked it up. Right, that's the middle. Now, if I've got enough, I will carry it around the edge. That's coming down a little bit. Now that's going to be my middle of my canvas. Where's my scissors gone? Oh, there it is. Night, Angie Brown. I have got to go. Nice talking to you ladies till next time. Oh, bless. Okay, bye, Angie Brown. So I'm just going to cut this canvas. Now I will 
should I use the same material going all the way around I don't know whether to actually keep it as it is and then do you know what I'm going to keep it as it is because you're not actually going to see it just going to glue this all down and then I've got some sort of a base then to stick my flowers to my beautiful flowers that you all created for me well, I'll turn this round like I say this will be awkward to film but bear with me while I film it got any you know going along these sides so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut it and cut this down and this is gonna be it's gonna be a fantastic hanging to hang in my room because I know how much um, time and effort went into making everybody's flowers well you all made for me rather and so I want to showcase it off. Definitely. I'm going to see if I've got um, just enough to put over that side there. Hmm. Not going to really see it that much. just want something to stick to the stick to the flowers on and I always forget that I have that I got it on I always put it on the wrong hand dog I can hear him he's snoring his little head off in the hall right and then I'm gonna just hmm stick that there Like I say, it's just so that I've got something to stick my flowers to. And then... There. So, get in there. I mean, I know that's patched. It's not really great. And I'm not looking for action really just looking so that I got a base I think that piece for there will do just fine see that I know I've got a gap here um oh you are I can stick that there 
oh bless him i can hear him snoring can you hear him snoring he's in the hall oh he's in the living room because he's just shouted he's in the living room oh words to that effect i do tell him to don't swear but he he goes no it's in the dictionary So I'm just going to tidy these edges up. And like I say, I should have really used um, a whole piece. Really. But never mind. Never mind. Right. Now, here comes the fun bit. I bought some trim the other day. Now, if you've been watching what, uh, what I've been up to recently, I bought this gorgeous trim. And I want a bit of a dangle. Now, I don't want nothing that's going to cover these flowers. Neither do I want some, to put something on there that will actually completely cover it. Now, what I've done, and I cut it out for a previous project, so what I might do is cut just cut the bottom of that trim off so i get the dangle there so what has everybody been up to today i have well i took my little brother out i say little he is six foot he could eat quite easily pick me up and we went to the seaside um, and we had we had our dinner in the car, and I don't think he could quite get over how his big sister can drive now. He was sort of waiting for me to, um, I don't know what he was waiting for, but I he don't he can't quite get over the fact his big sister can drive. It was so funny. I said to him yesterday, "We definitely going out now." He said, "Um, um, um." <laughs> quite nervous he was to say the least once he got in and he had his dinner and we were driving down the road he went hmm I can get quite used to this <laughs> and he's actually planned our next trip out I sat watching working on my swap oh happy now Sharon I wonder who you're swapping with hmm I can't think who you're swapping with was it windy on the seaside? Hope you had fun. Um, when well, we ate our dinner in the car, it was quite nice actually. The it wasn't too cold. It's been, it hasn't been hot weather today here, but it hasn't been exactly um cold either. Um, so yeah, that's what we did today. And he brought tomato ketchup. And he brought, because uh, he came out the house with his bag in his hand. And I said, what's in the bag? And he went, bread and butter. I went, so you've got the tomato ketchup. Because the night previously, I sort of said, I'm relying on you for the tomato ketchup, mind. And he went, hmm. Hmm, like this. So in the car, he said, oh, all this in the, all this in the bag is bread and butter. So when we got to the seaside... He brought his little bag out and he ended up having uh, curry and I said right so I said pass him that bag then so let's get the bread and butter out and he, he actually bought um, I think he bought forks out as well with him bless him and I said all oh, right I said wait a minute I said I thought you said there was no ketchup in this bag he went no I said, but there's ketchup in the bag. He went, yeah. I said, and he looked at me and smiled. And what he'd actually done was because we'd sort of planned it the night before what we were going to have to eat. And I said to him that I was going to have um, pie and chips. And he had um, curry chicken and chips. And uh, he said, well, the tomato ketchup isn't for me. Do you mind? And I just looked at him and I thought, how thoughtful is that? Right. 
so a little bit more to go I'm not going to waste this trim I might use it on something else but I loved I loved this trim I was so lucky enough to grab some when she was selling some of this I still can't pronounce her name I'm really really sorry she knows that I can't pronounce her name she she tried to break it down for me um, and I still can't pronounce it so she said it's okay to call a craft angel online which I thought was quite nice right so all I'm doing is I'm cutting the bottom trim out No, that way. I didn't realise I didn't cut this bit off. So, I don't know, I've been thinking about what my next project's going to be. Um, I am going to go for something Christmassy, I think. He thinks. So, what I'm going to do and handle this. Twist it up. Right. And then, so do some of there. I, re I really realise how much stuff I actually had till I started moving it all. It's pronounced Chopa. All oh, right, okay. Thank you, Angie Paisy. There we are. Just enough to finish off the bottom. Now. Lol, I only live in a small one bedroom flat. Good job. It's only me here with my dogs and cats. Oh, bless. I was also... Oh, yeah, because I asked you about what you'd all been doing today. I'm moving sure as furniture as I'm moving my craft room. Oh, my days. I've done that one. And it was in my living room, but was taking over the room. So now I'm turning my dining room into my craft dining room. Yeah. Yeah, I sort of know that I'm feeling too well because um, I, when we did this room out, it was a sort of moving everything. Now, these are my flowers. This is the fun part. Um, now I have got. Look, right. Um got some flowers here that I've got some dandles. I'm going to move this right up so you can see the bottom of it and what I'm thinking is because it's got dangles on the bottom to have it um, let me see let me see let me see and yeah, we'll have that one there um, that one is in there like so. We got another dandelion one. Oh, we have a pink one. Right, I'm going to put them aside a second, and then I'm going to glue these down because I think that if the dangles are at the bottom, then they'll once they hang, they'll actually dangle down. So handmade by Angie. Wonder who that can be. <laughs> Ange, I'm going to cover this with glue. Hope you don't mind. I always was intrigued though how you've managed to do that on stamp. Because I noticed that um, that one there and yes Polly I may hold it when it comes to my craft stuff or I am tooling. Oh, I am too. Do you know, we sorted my craft room out and I've still got boxes to sort out. So I decided to do the hall. 
and Chris bless him he's been busy decorating the hall for me and um, oh, it's like how much stuff does one person need but yeah see my do you know what my fault is keeping things that I don't actually need oh I a craft angel I was um I was just talking about you in a good way right so what is going on so I'll tell you what's going on um I did a giveaway and everybody part of the giveaway was everybody um had to make some flowers in order to be involved um and if the minimum two maximum of four they can make them any shape any size any how they wanted to and then once i was um once i had everybody's flowers and i think i've run out today actually the giveaway um i was gonna make something for my room and that's what i'm making with everybody's flowers that i've received that's exactly what i'm making i'm making a heart wall hanging using everybody's flowers and we're just saying how to pronounce your name is it show show her we crafters have enough we were on about how um we we as crafters hold things right so that's what i got so far so all the dangles are at the bottom raise it up a little bit now i have some i want the bigger flowers to go on the outside if i can help it so if i put say put that one that one there oh you can't see it would help if you could see <laughs> right um i'll put that one in the center i think i'm gonna go there that one's got a bit of a trim on dangle on look just check oh, i want all the dangles to go on all the sides there so it goes like that see i'm going to stick these down as i go along hi ladies lovely to meet you all it's pronounced sh shiel sh 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 i la shall sh no sh i la shall shall pa shall pa shall pa I must have that wrong. I'm going to put that one there, he thinks. I'm going to put some more glue on this one. Oh. Here's a glue stick. You need some flower. You you need some more flowers, clap. No, I've got some um beside of me. <laughs> Yeah, do I need some more? Do you know, I think when I do another giveaway, I think because I've got, um, I have got another um, copper. You know how this one's in the shape of a heart? Well, the other one is in the shape of a circle. I will show you after I finish this. Um, and I might do another one and fill the other one up. I think that's a good idea. Oh, come on. It's the glue gun. Right, I'm going to put my dead in the centre. Let's go that way. And then have the gorgeous flowers. Absolutely stunning flowers. Right, now I have got some. See how I've got, got tons next to me here. Um, put that there. And a little tiny one there. And then, no, will I take up hmm, that one and this? And then, how about, no, that one there, I think. And then I've 
I've got some more beside me, so if I glue them, no, I'm glued them. That'll do for me. You're a darling. Oh, thank you. I do try with names, but I know I can never ever get them right. See, if you were all named Colette, it'd be a lot easier, you know. I've decided. <laughs> So I'm going to stick that one just there like so. Might be able to put another one just there. That's where I am at the minute. And there. Right. Now let's go back off to the side. Um, right. Let me see what we've got. See, I've still got quite a few... If I, I'm going to put that one just like so, and then, mm, I don't know, there and there. Can I stick that there and there, or, oh, I got lost. I want to be able to see them all, see, yeah, like that. And then the other ones I'm going to put in the middle. That looks gorgeous, honey. Oh, thank you, Angie Paisy. Needs that old. Right, and then this one. I need another glue stick. I don't know why, but she's becoming hard to. Hard to stick. Can you see now why I wanted everybody to make us flowers? Oh, I've stuck that the wrong way. This way. There we go. Now, I have got a few now that I can put in the middle. See, I've still got two, four, six. I've got nearly over seven. So, I have got two. Look at them. Gorgeous. It's a lovely idea. That's beautiful, Claire. That looks gorgeous, honey. Oh, thank you. I want to be able to um, see them. And the thing is, like I say, because you... Um, I love speaking to you all. I absolutely love it. I love making my videos. And I wanted to... I'm going to stick that one there, I think. And I wanted to be able to show your creations in my room. And I show them, you know, everybody that ever makes me anything, I will always put in my room anyway. But I wanted something that hangs. Um, and I don't want neither of them. I don't want, I want you to be able to see all the flowers. I don't want none of them to be um, missed. Do you know what I mean? Or the fact that you can't see them because some flowers are bigger than the other ones. I wanted, to, I wanted it so you could see them all. And I love the little ones. I, you know, that's crochet. I think um, Gargoyle made me that one. I think she did. Um, stick that there. I'm going to stick that one there. Can you see why I, I put the uh, fabric? And I'm going to put that one if it will go. See, you can almost see the little pearls there. So I don't want to cover them up. Put that one there, that one there, that one there. And that one there, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah. And the trim that I put on right at the very start came from was she supposed to be back? Oh yeah, she is back. She sent me an email to say that she was back. Um and she did ask me when I was going live. I think I did I did answer her. 
but she is back off a holiday she absolutely loved it and i'm well jealous because the pictures she sent me they looked absolutely immense um there and i think these two i haven't stuck down and i'm gonna put um I'm going to put on the back um, a hanger, you know, a thing so I can hang it up. There, and then this tiny little one. I love the fact I had different shapes. They weren't all the same shapes. I love the fact that some of them were small. I love the fact some of them were big. And I just loved it. And that is all flowers. Oh no, there's one more. One more. So I'm going to take that off. Ooh, can I squeeze that one in there, do you reckon? Yeah, I can. So I'm going to stick the other one on. Oh, that was close. If I had lifted that up and spotted that later, I wouldn't have been able to put that this far on. So that was close. Um, so that he's going to go there, like so. So you can still see the other one. And then, where can I stick this little one? I'm gonna stick I'm gonna put the other these two I'll show you now. I've got a gap there to stick the both of them in. And then will that fit in there like so? It should. Yeah, it does. Woohoo! I didn't think I had room then. There, let me check. Yep, yeah, that's all the flowers and that will hang in my room. Um, I'm going to use, just down a look to use something to hang this with. Um, I bought some of this, sorry for my arm, I bought some of this bobble trim. Or, hmm, let me think, let me think. I'm going to make my own trim, I think. I, you love it when I make my own trim. So I'm going to use this brown trim. And this pink organza that I had from... Sh Crafty Angel Online. <laughs> I will get the wiggy name, I promise. So I'm going to take all this off. Right, I'm going to make my own trim. So I'm going to put this aside a sack. Right, to make my own trim, I've got two little trims here and because there's a lot of pearl going on and dangle going on there, of course I'm going to add another pearl. So unravel some of this. Right, okay, to make your own trim, let's cut this off because it is fraying. Just to slide a bit. Uh, grab your two trims so I'm using the what they call it Chinese knot is it um, some pink organza but Chinese braid that was it that's what they call it Chinese braid uh, pink organza that my trims were wrapped in and some pearls and all I'm gonna do is this so I'm gonna bring my mat up because I need my mat to glue this down so a bit of glue just on the mat like so where am I going tap one down tap two down I'm gonna go across again because I want my pearl to be in the center okay and then I'm gonna wrap it now it will get handled just for a slight minute 
and you just braid it. I love making my own trim. If I can help it, I will do it. And especially because um, of that being so special, that hanging, I want to make my own trim. So all you do is braid it. Now, it will start coming undone because A is only attached by glue. See, and that's how it turns out. And B, because I'm pulling it to plait it, it will start coming undone. As in the top where I've glued it. Um, down there and you just literally go what a nice way to remember all your crafty friends oh bless can you raise it up to the camera so we all can see trim there i will i will show you the heart thing in a sec once i've done this i'll show you the heart thing what it all looks like because you've only been able to see parts of it as i've been going on and all i'm doing is plaiting this trim and I'm going to plait enough of it so I get a good amount to um, hang it from. Um, I'm trying to go as quick as I can. <laughs> when I was uh, little, I used to love plaiting hair. So plaiting and making your own trims this way, it's so rewarding. And especially because you all put the work in um to make all those beautiful flowers and it's gonna hang in my room that stunning beautiful beautiful love it love it love it yes it's very effective know what you mean they're beautiful i want one for my wall now but the um the heart or the hanging <laughs> well if anybody ever did a flower competition or giveaway or anything like that um, I would enter I would definitely enter so I'm just gonna plait towards the end of this pink organza otherwise I'm gonna um, let me see how much I've got let me see no it needs to be a little bit more a little bit more and it's going to hang in my room that's the best bit about it and the best bit about it is you all made those flowers and yeah I just cannot wait let me see how much I've got I'll go to the end of this pink organza a little bit more one thing two Two, three, four. Right, okay, so you come to the end. So I need to snip those two, the pearl and the Chinese braid off. And all you do is this. Get your Chinese braid, because I'm using Chinese braid. Put your pearl trim on it. And with the pink organza, take it over the back. Now, because this is a wall hanging, and I don't want it to unravel or even come undone you need a little bit of fat now not much it's just so if you've ever bought a headband and on the headband they do a little bit of felt so it doesn't dig in behind your ears that's the same sort of principle really and then just Fold it that way, fold it that way, press it down and now cut the, leave a little bit of a, an edge to the felt, don't actually cut it all the way and then I need to do the same with this. Now because this side was glued to the table, them off and again a little bit of glue the pearl trim and then wrap this pink trim around grab my felt which is here and then let 
literally just make yourself a, like um, a secure like a, something to secure those trims otherwise what will happen is because that is I should imagine that's quite heavy that hanging because of uh, all your creations but because I want it to stay on the wall for as long as possible that's what I'm going to do so now I've made my trim that's what it looks like I'm going to turn this the other way around this hanging and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to come underneath one of the wires and I'm going to glue that down like so take a little bit of felt just to secure it that's all it is And then same this side so go I'm going under the wire rack I'm gonna glue this side down and then I'm gonna take a little bit of felt literally not much only a little bit I need and then I'm gonna secure it with this little bit of felt I've got there right now do you want all the big reveal <laughs> I really I just want to show you before I share, show you the big reveal I just wanted to say a, a massive thank you to everybody who made those flowers i will do another one i promise i will do another giveaway um as of yet i can't tell you when that will be but i will do another one and i just wanted to thank every single one of you for making those flowers because without your creations and the time it took to make your flowers i would never been able to do this big reveal never been able to do my hanging rather so i just wanted to say thank you okay here goes <laughs> This is my wall hanging. So I don't know how wide the camera will go. So that is the wall hanging. Um there's the it is quite big it's fit it's filling my mat, mat so if i turn it that way perhaps you'll it'll fit into the screen if it's into the screen yeah fits into the screen so that's all the flowers that everybody put in and i can clearly see them all um i've i've used all the flowers that got sent to me and it was such a pleasure making this Thank you to every single one of you who made me a flower. Thank you to everybody who part participated in the giveaway. It's been such an honour making that diary book. And um, yeah, Angie says, oh my God, take the red and black one off. No, I'm not taking the red one and black one off. It's beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. What a lovely idea you had, Claire. Thank you, Lynn. Polly said, beautiful, 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 lovely idea. And Donna says, beautiful. Can What a nice way to remember all your crafty friends. Exactly, Dawn. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, so this was, this was the hanging. It's going to go up in my room. And, again, just thank you. Lynn, congratulations to winning all those fabulous goodies. Um... Give me till the weekend because that shoe box is falling apart and I will put it in um, a different box and I will post it. I found the symbol and um, I've just got to put some pins in this little tub. Um, but thank you all for joining me. I know I haven't been on a while for doing a live. It's been such um, a pleasure doing tonight's live. 
thank you to uh, my new subscribers that have come on and seen me do this live um it's yeah thank you i you know i can't say more than thank you and uh yeah thank thank you so much thank you so much whenever you're ready i will definitely post it on to you congratulations lynn um i love them all it looks fab i love you loads love you all massively thank you all for your support and uh, thank you to my new subscribers um i will be doing more videos to look up for them and like i say i will be doing another little giveaway kind of like this um but look out for that i don't know when it'll be so i'm gonna say good night um thank you all for joining me tonight it was such an honor doing tonight's live with you all and i will speak catch up with you all in my next videos have a great weekend and i will speak to you all very soon bye for now